I think the, the tour of destruction is going to continue here for FlyQuest as we get underway. That is by far the most metal name you could have possibly given it. The Tour of Destruction, and we'll kick it off now in Game 1. Manhattan, if they can shut it down early, they can force them into a weird pressure situation that FlyQuest don't want to deal with. The early games are going to matter. Getting that first goal can be so important to setting the pace of the game, but if it's anything we've seen out of this FlyQuest squad, is that they're so good at responding quickly. And right now, just a little bit of back and forth in the first 30 seconds of the game, the FlyQuest thrown back on the defense. Malakis looking for a touch, not able to find it. And Manhattan going to work the distance of the field, trying to get it away. That shot right into the bumper of Ajax. He makes that save. Ajax gets another touch. Manhattan trying to get it out of the orange half of the field, but FlyQuest pressure is mounting and wonder. Fights off the defense in front of the box. It's 1-0 FlyQuest. Malikus is watching one angle, but he doesn't have his sights on Wonder, who rolls in just ahead of him to face off this challenge. He's going to go cleared across the line, which makes a lot of sense because he wants to get it out as quickly as possible, and pushing it that direction is the best way to go. But unfortunately, Wonder's there, ready to play through. He's been that positioning master the entire series, and he's showing it off again. Oh, Wonder actually almost getting another goal there. AJ in support. Comes in, a second touch, Prime Thunder. Back to AJ. Over to Wonder, broken up cleanly, and the FlyQuest defense, no one back in net. Prime Thunder tries to make a touch, and Malakis still working this almost turned, almost turned Cole into gold there. A, a touch that could have been a shot, unfortunately didn't work. Manhattan, still 0-0, zero, zero, or 1-0, excuse me. I feel like Cole doesn't turn into gold, but I like where you were going with that. They're both It does mine. now. It does now. We've just changed chemistry here, folks. You heard it here. Mid and 30 seconds in, you're seeing the pressure finally turning back here in favor of Manhattan, but FlyQuest, they're willing to put it right back on. Malakis rushing towards that ball. Manhattan constantly being thrown back on the defense. They're going to try to move downfield yet again. This is a team that really prefers passing the ball, finding their teammates in no matter what situation. Sometimes it has bit them in the butt, and you see right there one man back able to throw it. Tapping it straight down, the shot saved. Malakis not able to put it through, Prime Thunder. Good hold from Prime Thunder, he's able to play it just outside the box. The playthrough has been a little bit slower here when you're watching from Manhattan. The place, they're going up the backboard a lot and that gives the defense a lot of time to prepare for it. They need to be able to build something ahead and be able to anticipate the defense coming out instead of pushing it up there and then hoping for the best with a chance outside of the box. Manhattan, a couple of opportunities here in the offensive half of the field. Here's another one and AJ able to just pop his car up Make a save, FlyQuest still in danger. Halfway through, hanging on to a one goal lead. AJ, challenged up high. Manhattan starting to pick up the pace. Malakis, going over to Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima up high. Ajax looking for Malakis. Malakis was not there. And almost a shot, but thrown away before it could get there by Malakis. Right against the crossbar, down and in. Can he get it out? It's rolling away. Manhattan able to throw it out and prevent a two-goal lead. That bump actually out of the box at the last second, getting Prime Thunder out of position was great for the defense because all three of them being bunched up there was so dangerous. And the play comes through perfectly. And at that angle, they have a chance because otherwise, Prime being at the top could have forced a huge chance for them. Manhattan trying to get things going again, but a good challenge by AJ. Keeps it away. Wonder, AJ and Prime Thunder, they finally spread out a little bit. Here comes FlyQuest again. A great challenge by AJ from Wonder. AJ throwing it to the box. No one home, Prime Thunder back and behind him. There was Wonder, now Prime Thunder looking for AJ. AJ doesn't like what he sees. Pulls away from it to make a quick save. He misses the ball. A shot and a light one. Another one's going to come in. Finally, Ajax finishes it. And with one minute left, Manhattan ties the game. The first stop looked like it was going to be close when AJ rolls through there like that. He doesn't have the recovery. You see him on the line. He stutters off the wall. One of the most difficult things to do as a defender is play it off the wall and maintain speed and course without that velocity in line and no recovery. A great turnaround and a great play there from Ajax to put it through. The AJ-Ajax rivalry has begun. Well, less than a minute to go. It'll be a one series long rivalry between these two in the second season of the rival series. Throwing it up. 
AJ looking for a touch. Manhattan's looking to go on the offense. Back and forth. Prime Thunder getting a nice challenge. Low against the crossbar. Played away by Ajax. Followed up by Malakis. Less than 30 seconds left. Game one could have an overtime. Oh, and a save. Slamming it against the crossbar. Prime Thunder had the shot and throwing that ball right away. No thank you, AJ says. That's going in anyway. It's two to one for FlyQuest. A lot of teams would have pulled out of this, backed off and realigned it back at the center, but not FlyQuest. They see the chance, they go, oh, actually, two defenders pushing up to the wing. That means Aunt Jemima needs to get this clear out. When it fails, falling, picking up that final ball, that was the stocking stuffer they've been looking for. 15 seconds left, Manhattan's gotta move quickly. They wanna tie this up. One touch, two touches for Aunt Jemima. And Manhattan, they're on the right side of the field. Can they do anything with this ball? Not a solid touch. And Malakis ends up losing the challenge, and they're gonna have to pull out a miracle to do it, and they're not going to. Instead, Prime Thunder is going to take uh, the thank you goal. Thank you very much. It's a very nice thank you goal. He even waved on his way back through. Again, Aunt Jemima, he's struggling to get the ball off the backboard there. It's the second time that one's occurred. Got to make sure that they're keeping an eye on that and what they can do to resolve it. Getting the clear out earlier or getting a harder hit from beneath the ball. If you try to go and catch it on your wheels like that, you might end up actually resetting off the ball and losing control of the momentum there. It happened twice. They've got to make sure that they, they fix that up. But also, FlyQuest, oh, they're playing out of their mind. Prime Thunder had a ton of shots on goal, and there's a very, very good reason for that. He was in the right place at the right time consistently, and every single chance that they had where it looked like the clear was going to go through, he challenged, but he challenged in the box, and it forced an attack back in on target and gave his teammates enough time to come back in and play continuous pressure. Yeah, I, that's kind of been the story with FlyQuest, right? Prime Thunder just going insane. And it, it's so great to see, just because Prime Thunder's been playing for so long and trying to get past that 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 threshold just trying to get there and it really looks like he has that combination this season for Manhattan I really feel like they were just it, you nailed on it it was mistouches a lot of mistouches a lot of solid potential opportunities that were missed because of a light a light touch on the ball or what should have been a laser you've got to be able to hit it on either the corner of that bumper or right front of the bumper and like you said those wheel touches are what really killed them that game. Just a lot of mechanical mistakes. Something FlyQuest excels at is making sure that they're going to be first to the challenge every single time. They want to be there first. Whether or not that's going to give them a favorable touch is really up to them and how they manage that player. But being there forces the option against a defense like that. And I don't think a lot of teams necessarily prepare for that level of speed coming directly at them with that control. And let's give credit where credit is due. Manhattan played a tie game against FlyQuest, a one-goal game for the entire the entire game and that's tough to do against they are they score so many goals and Manhattan it's kind of been their story in the rival series close but no cigar for Manhattan not able to finish games game number two underway and AJ taking this ball himself working the corner gonna take a light shot to the backboard Prime Thunder following up FlyQuest another shot saved there by Ajax Malakis wanted to go for that and got called off. And now, Manhattan against their own back box. Oh, oh my goodness, what a touch by AJ. Uh, he was just passing through and gets the bounce. It's one nothing. AJ touching that one through shouldn't have been as successful as it was, except for he comes right back in and gets the second touch. The ball should have bounced out to the corner. The defense is ready for it. They're not ready for AJ's redirect. Incredible. It shows you the, what AJ has brought to this team. He's been able to play on all sides of the pitch, something that they really missed last season. Even Air just wasn't able to fill that role for them. And Aunt Jemima trying to move in for Manhattan. Move it up back and forth. Prime Thunder giving way for AJ. And AJ just kind of rolls that towards the net. It's not a solid clear, but plenty of time. Manhattan looking to move downfield. Prime Thunder. AJ the last man back, but plenty of time right now for FlyQuest to get downfield. And having to go back and make a save is Aunt Jemima. Oh, because he's there. And AJ puts it right. The only place he really could have. And it's two to nothing. He sat there uncontested. Manhattan's defense is left completely planted here. Aunt Jemima misses the challenge. And Malakis doesn't have the air to come in and play against AJ at that point. The control that they have from the passing plays, they are running the show in that box. It 
it's got to be Manhattan to turn this one back around quickly. If they can come through, a little bit better on the rotations. I think also choosing your battles a little bit better will be a big difference maker for them because going in for the wrong challenge is setting them up for 2v1 situations that they can't hold off the defense very long, especially with a precise team like FlyQuest. Cron Thunder moving downfield all by himself. Malakus eventually gets away and knocks it at least once, keeping it away from FlyQuest, but FlyQuest has dominated the pitch in game number two. Right back. FlyQuest still attacking against Manhattan. And Manhattan just can't seem to find any room against this FlyQuest team. Feels like one break that they get, it just gets immediately slapped back in their face here in the orange half. FlyQuest working end to end against the zone. Prime Thunder's just sitting here waiting, having a good time. He's like, look, Wonder, you do your thing and eventually you're gonna get the ball to me and I'm going to score. FlyQuest, again, throwing it towards the center. Can Manhattan finally clear this away? AJ's right there waiting. Ooh, and misses a crucial touch. Could be huge for Manhattan, but coming quickly is Wonder, able to boom it down, feel that one towards the net, and Wonder's shot thrown away from AJ. Prime wanted a touch there, not able to get it. With two minutes left to go, still 2-0. It, it's strange because the Manhattan passes have slowed and they just feel so contained and they get into these situations over and over where 2v1 becomes the dominant force here. FlyQuest holding on to this half and they just have to be able to force them out. Physical play can make a big difference here. We actually haven't seen a lot of beneficial demos from either side, but Manhattan's got to find a way to close out against FlyQuest who are gaining a lot of ground. They own the space, but they're not really being contained and they just get chances to boom these plays out force the defense back along the line, and then you see they gain all of that ground into the orange zone, that's gotta change. And they're getting a lot of free shots on net on top of all of Absolutely. it. And it's just causing so much pressure, mayhem, on the Manhattan side of the field. Another pass broken up. Manhattan's starting to get up there a little bit, trying to break up these passing plays that they were just giving away earlier. But they're running out of time. A minute 10 left to go. And AJ did about all he could. Prime Thunder, back to AJ, who just loves to hit the ball on the way back and make really, what's the word for it? Productive touches for his team. Less than a minute left to go. FlyQuest, every time they're on their own half, they're just spending time grabbing boost. Oh, uh, recharging! Ajax says, hang on a second. If you're just gonna sit here and just diddle-dally with the ball back and forth, I'm gonna slap this one in. It's about time they earned one of those too because the passes have looked really good for Manhattan for about the last 30 seconds. They started getting some momentum. This was the chance for them to shake it up and force FlyQuest to show whether or not they're gonna be able to perform on defense this game. And the answer was, not really. And that's actually pretty good so far. If they can keep that up when they get out of their own half, that's where they're actually gonna be able to make a big difference. The catch is, FlyQuest has done such a good job containing them, they don't get a lot of those chances. And in fact, I mean, if you look at it, they've only had five shots Shots on goal. FlyQuest are sitting at a very clean nine. They've almost doubled the chances. Oh, that was a pitch down into the ground. Wonder gets the goal. Look at this, the Wonder Thunder combo. If you had to show a goal to people to explain the Wonder Thunder combo, this is it right here. It's actually, they almost held hands as they shot the goal through. It's so good. The chemistry between these two, they've been playing together for so long. It really shows and shines in matches like this. 30 seconds left. Manhattan had a chance here in game two, and that chance is slowly withering away. With 20 seconds left, gotta get a goal with time left to at least force a game four against this potent FlyQuest squad. FlyQuest squad. Fly do it all together. FlyQuest. <laughs> it's FlyQuest. I love it. Yes, absolutely. That is probably gonna do it here and FlyQuest taking game number two and they're not blowing out Manhattan by any means, but the game feels like a blowout. FlyQuest has, I feel like I say it uh, over and over again, but they have just had complete control of this game. Manhattan has gotten one or two quick transitions, but that's all they get. And then FlyQuest throws it away. You know, let's talk about what Manhattan's doing really well. Again, their passing is looking a lot better. Uh, they are challenging the ball a bit more, but they're still giving a little bit too much space to FlyQuest. They're gonna have to improve that. Uh, they look a little bit too timid to the ball. And that's just, they back off of opportunities where they think that they might be playing to risk. And it's okay to be a risk-averse player. It's not okay to throw away opportunities where you could be moving into a counter play into the offense and then giving that away. And when they do that, that hands back possession to FlyQuest 
who is working very quickly to set up two touch passes and try to build something on offense, rotate through and maintain pressure. If they can turn that around, make their passes a little bit more pressure oriented, control the midfield where they've been lacking a bit, Manhattan can turn this around. Manhattan can actually perform. The other piece, though, is FlyQuest is just so dang fast. Yeah. It's really, really hard to stop that. It's amazing sometimes because Prime Thunder will actually... Uh, being able to read the ball is so important in Rocket League, and you see players that are exceptionally good at it, especially at the RLCS level. And being able to get up to the ball before anyone else knows where it's going is so important. Prime Thunder, sometimes he's up for the ball and coming from... God knows where, and before anyone else on Manhattan jumps up for it, he's touching the ball. It's like, uh, okay, well, what are we supposed to do about that? He is showing off the kind of speed, the kind of skill that we want to see in an RLCS caliber player, and this is the show match you want to see as they prepare to move into the promotion relegation. Well, game number three, this is it for FlyQuest. One more, and a clean 3-0 sweep will absolutely solidify the number one spot for the promotion relegation tournament. Tapping it straight down to Prime Thunder. Manhattan trying to move downfield, but the challenges in midfield have always been there for FlyQuest. Flipping around, Wonder. Couldn't get anything going there. So patient, FlyQuest is on their offensive opportunity, but the reason they're able to be patient is just because Manhattan has been so slow out the gate and out of their own box, trying to clear it away. That one was a quick, again, quick transition, but FlyQuest coming through with the save. It's interesting to watch now that Manhattan has changed a little bit of their dynamic. While they're being a little bit more careful with the ball, you're seeing finesse touches that are a bit more effective for them. They've got to still make those clears significant. You see ones like that now. They're making more booming attempts because they can get into the blue and start making a lot more opportunities in front of the goal for themselves. FlyQuest still defaulting, and that worked out really well. Wonder only has to make a wide clear. There's no one even in contention for it, and it's a nice play. And it comes down to feeling the pressure, and you're just, you know that they're fast on the ball, so you want to be able to challenge them in midfield when you actually get the ball in the blue half, and then there's no one in net. You can't pull the goalie with, at a 0-0 game. You gotta be careful with those rotations. One nothing, FlyQuest. We expected Wonder to be one of those support players holding at the midfield. But it turns out Wonder is one of those players who can shock, surprise, and beat everyone with just pure precision. It's happened over and over again, and we get to watch it with shots like that. It's been great to watch Wonder play because he's been so good at those challenges and setting up passing plays, and also uh, getting the passing plays, getting them in traffic. It has been impressive to watch. It's something he really struggled with in the rival series last season. We're not able to hit the passes to Prime Thunder that just didn't feel like from the majority of that season that they were on the same page. We're seeing the evolution of a team forming into RL an RLCS caliber team in this game right now. That shot going to be knocked away right into a Manhattan bumper. And Manhattan down frequently in this series, keeping the score close, but just not able to capitalize not able to create, generate their own opportunities. They're going to try to move downfield again. Prime Thunder on the retreat, looking for the touch, and Wonder and Prime Thunder even uh, get the combo together on defense. Move it out towards the corner. Manhattan's still one of the most fun teams to watch, but when they're pegged into a corner and they're forced to play to their opponent, oh, they struggle. And this is another example of that. Watching AJ come in with Prime like this, look how fast this play rolls through. Prime Thunder sees the chance, he slows, stalls, and AJ is moving in at lightning speed to clock in and make sure that that comes in on target. Defense is a second behind in the decision making there. They needed to challenge Prime, and when they don't, AJ's got wide room. You said Manhattan's fun to watch, but FlyQuest is super fun to watch. They, just that play alone, Prime Thunder, the patience is just so, uh, it's so good. It's so good. I, I know that you, you probably can't, you probably can't sing FlyQuest's praises. Uh, more than enough to kind of have in the series, but what else have they shown us to not sing their praises in this series alone? This is this is a team that's going to be playing in the promotion tournament, and they're showing you why they have a shot to take somebody out so they can go win. Jorby, when you look good, you look good. And look today, good, you feel good. FlyQuest, man, they look good, they feel good, they are performing. They and you know what? Manhattan has done their best to hold off this offense, and they've done actually a pretty good job. You're right, keeping the score down has been a really, really strong point for them, and I want to say that that is not an easy feat. We've seen FlyQuest blow teams away 
And Manhattan has done a good job on defense. Their transition is where they're struggling. And when they get out of their line, they don't have the rotation speed necessary to actually move into the counter. Well, a minute 30 left. And right now, FlyQuest is just continually just hitting this ball into the corner, trying to win that offensive boost battle and just run this scoreboard as high as they can so Manhattan has no chance of coming back in this game. Back pass to Flying Thunder, and he moves downfield. Looks like they're starting to almost intentionally go for some of these pitches. That's the second time Wonder and Prime Thunder have kind of collided together for the same for the same pass, and we've seen twice when that's worked out for them in this series alone. I think we call that getting fancy. Getting fancy. Dancing with your wheels. That shot off the post, and oh, if there's not a there's not words that could describe how bad that has to feel for Manhattan. You've one solid shot on net, and it rolls off the post. 45 seconds left to go. Still two to nothing. For FlyQuest looking to basically stomp, march their way into the promotion tournament, making an emphatic statement saying, we are here and we are going to the RLCS. You know, you've got to keep a close eye on Aunt Jemima. Actually taking four shots, now five on goal so far, is actually doing the lion's share of offensive work here for Manhattan. It's looking good, but unfortunately, walking up alone and being forced on a breakaway opportunity puts you in a position where the defense can quickly turn that one around and just simply make a challenge by putting a body in front, and then you don't have a lot of ground to get. Well, with about five seconds left, that's going to do it for this series. FlyQuest winning in a 3-0 fashion against Manhattan. And again, Manhattan, their fate was already sealed. They will have to play in the play-in tournament again to get through.